Hello, my name is Izzy's Lorena and if you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back and thank you for stopping by to watch another episode of Mindful Motherhood. And today I want to talk about a TED talk that I watched on the subject of postpartum depression versus matrescence. Have you heard of matrescence? Is this a term that you've heard before? I came across this term today whilst I was researching for a Mindful Motherhood video and I spent my entire morning reading and making notes about the subject of matrescence and I wanted to share my research and my thoughts on this with you guys. I also want to invite you to comment below and share your thoughts as well. Before I go ahead, I just wanted to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you like these kinds of videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Now let's get straight into the video. Earlier today, I watched a TED talk that really opened my eyes to the potential of misdiagnosed postpartum depression during early motherhood. And this TED talk was by Dr. Alexandra Sachs, who is a psychiatrist. And she explains that that emotional confusion and overload that mums feel during early motherhood is not necessarily postpartum depression, but rather it could be something called matrescence, which is a term used to describe the transition to motherhood, to becoming a mum. The very early days, weeks and months of motherhood can be one of the toughest times for women and it certainly was for me. And it's hard to talk about exactly how we're feeling because it's all so new and confusing and hormonal. So I wanna open up the discussion on this subject and maybe introduce the idea of matrescence to some of you watching this video for the first time, or if you've already heard of the term, comment below and tell me what you think about it. Postpartum depression is a very serious condition that affects many mums and I love the fact that in this era of social media we're able to talk about it more openly, normalise it and for many more mums to get help with it. But I also feel like there is a tendency to be quick to self-diagnose postpartum depression. More in the hopes of finding an explanation for the way that we're feeling and why we're finding things particularly hard, why does it seem that we are struggling whilst everybody's coping, or why am I not enjoying motherhood as much as I should be. So I completely understand the need that overcomes a lot of mums to find a reason for um, how they're feeling. More often than not, postpartum depression fits the bill and fits the symptoms. But is it really postpartum depression or is it something a little bit less serious and a little bit more common that we all go through du during those very specific early stages of motherhood? Dr. Sachs talks about how the changes that we go through during our teenage years are very similar to the changes that a woman goes through during pregnancy and early motherhood. So just like teenagers can be a minefield and all over the place, New and expectant mums can be like that too. The sad thing is that early motherhood isn't really talked about with the same level of understanding as adolescence. There are textbooks written about adolescence and the transition to becoming an adult, but there's not even a term to describe the transition to becoming a mother. We're mostly expected to just get on with it or adapt to our new role as a mum as if nothing has really changed in our lives. And the physical changes in themselves are enough, let alone the emotional, the internal psychological changes. Speaking from personal experience, during early motherhood, I questioned many times if I had postpartum depression on days when I felt like I was struggling to cope or that I wasn't enjoying motherhood as much as I should be or that I had these conflicting emotions that came and went all the time about how much I loved my baby but how much I craved time for myself. It's weird but it's just a feeling that we get that it's not supposed to feel like this. Although no one really knows what motherhood feels like until they become mothers themselves. But there is an expectation that motherhood is supposed to feel 
amazing. As we know, the common assumptions are that motherhood is supposed to make you feel incredibly happy, love like no other, your maternal instincts kick in, your baby just latches on, breastfeeding comes really naturally, you just know what to do with your baby and you know that you always want to put your baby first even in front of all of your needs and wants. So if these boxes are not ticked then surely there must be something wrong and that's when we start to doubt and question ourselves. Dr. Sachs actually had many, many hundreds of mums who came to her as a psychiatrist for help wondering if they had postpartum depression. And when she analysed these mums, she realised that they were not clinically depressed, but telling them that they weren't ill wasn't actually making them feel better. And she really wanted to help those mums feel better by explaining to them that, in her words, discomfort doesn't equate to disease. So she set out to do some research on the psychology of motherhood which I think is a fascinating subject. And that was when she came across the term matrescence, which she found in an essay by a woman called Dana Raphael from 1973. So just like adolescence is the transition to adulthood, matrescence is the transition to motherhood. And they both share very similar hormonal and physical changes. And as we know, that can wreak havoc with our bodies and our emotions and cause a lot of confusion. I was a dreadful teenager and I can't believe my mum had to put up with me for as long as she did. What kind of teenager were you? I was the moody type, my sister was the emotional type. So just like adolescence, matrescence is not a disease. But because it's not in the medical dictionary and people are not really educated about this period of a woman's life, it gets mistaken by a very serious disease called postpartum depression. I love the way that Dr. Sachs explains matrescence to her clients to help them understand what it feels like to be going through matrescence. So she uses the analogy of the push and pull concept. And I'll try my best to explain, but if you want to understand it better, I recommend you watch the TED talk. I'll leave it linked in the description box below. So from what I understood, the push and pull concept is something like this. The pull is that babies are born very defenseless and they're super dependent on us. They can't fend for themselves. So evolution gives us a little helping hand in understanding that that baby needs to be cared for by making our bodies produce oxytocin as soon as we give birth or when you have skin to skin contact with the baby. And that oxytocin is released which pulls the mum in to feel like the baby is the centre of her world. So that's your pull. The push, however, is our logical and conscious minds telling us that, hang on a minute, just because that baby was born, it doesn't mean that everything that you had about your life stops existing. So, you know, what about your partner and your relationships and your family and your friends and your needs to shower and sleep and eat and go out and spend time for yourself? What about all those things? It can't just be all about the baby. And that is what pushes your emotions away whilst your oxytocin is pulling you in. So that is the tension that we can experience during matrescence, a constant emotional clash, which can be very exhausting. I think it's really important for mums and everyone else to understand that matrescence is a real thing. Because if we educate ourselves, we can properly support women going through matrescence and tell them that they are not alone, that what they're going through is a normal phase of life. If we give matrescence the same importance that we give adolescence, we can stop mums feeling ashamed for feeling like they need a break or like their maternal instincts haven't kicked in or feeling like there's something wrong with them. It's okay to feel torn between your baby and your life. You want to stay and cuddle your baby for as long as possible, but you're also desperate for that shower or for that cup of tea. You want to let your baby cluster feed for as long as they need, but you also want to sleep and you want to catch up on the new series of Downton Abbey. So let's talk to each other about this and let's educate people around us about the transition to motherhood 
and what that entails and how that can make women feel. Let's help new mums understand what's going on and feel less stigmatized. And hopefully they will go on to talk to friends and families and their partners and they will be that little bit more understanding about how she feels. And I shared this concept of matrescence with my husband and he was fascinated by it. So it's important to talk about matrescence and educate ourselves on the subject. And if you want to know more about the topic, go to the expert. Dr. Alexandra Sachs. I'm going to leave her Instagram account linked below, also the TED talk that I watched, and she also has a podcast which I discovered today, and I'm so looking forward to getting stuck into it because the topics look very interesting. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found it informative and interesting. Let me know if you've heard of matrescence and what you think about it and what was your matrescence like? How did it feel for you those early days, months and weeks of motherhood? Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. I post videos on Mondays and Fridays and I will see you Friday for a new video. Bye.